<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Where Should I Feel It? Pose of the Week. Thank you for joining me. So, shoulders, we all have them, we all love them, we all get knots in them, and we want to ultimately keep them safe. Now, Chaturanga Dandasana, Chaturanga, the yoga push-up. This is done so often in a yoga class. And many times, because you're flowing through sun salutes or vinyasas, you don't always have the time to think about the alignment. You're kind of touching base and moving through and on to your up dog or your down dog or plank again. <laughs> There's so many ways to sneak in an extra chaturanga. But how do you know that you're keeping your shoulders safe, right? Are you using the right muscles when you're in the pose? Now, one of the things I love so much about yoga is it's really about the placement, right? About alignment. So if you can mindfully place your hands, your shoulders in a certain place, engage your tummy, relax between the shoulder blades, you'll find that the pose becomes much easier. That it's not all about, hey, Elizabeth, so fabulous to have you. So to keep those shoulders safe, because we want to keep them safe in our yoga push-up, what you're going to do, nice and simple, is join me standing. And I'm going to show you. We'll celebrate all of the little yoga zombie pet poses. <laughs> Seems like zombies are everywhere. Okay, so you're standing with your feet hip distance wide, and you stretch your arms out in front of you. Now here in this position, what I want you to do is I want you to simply bend the arms and bring the hands in front of the shoulders. Now when the hands come in front of the shoulders, notice how you feel across your chest and your upper back. Beautiful. Now extend those arms forward. And as you stretch those arms forward, bend the arms and bring your thumbs more in line with your chest and kind of feel this position. The chest, the triceps, the back of the upper arm, the upper back. And we'll go again. So you stretch the arms forward, bend the arms, and bring the hands in front of the shoulders. And just notice, hmm, I threw my chest, I feel a little collapsed, right? I feel not so super strong. I feel, hmm, not much work happening in my arms. So now, when you stretch your arms forward, you keep the thigh bones rooting back, your lower belly tone, the sides of the rib cage moving back. Bend the arms and bring the thumbs in line with your ribs. Beautiful. Now, when the hands are here, notice how the chest is more open, the head of the shoulders back. The upper back is working. And I feel my triceps even toning the back of the upper arm. And notice how your shoulders and your elbows are in alignment. You're not here with the elbows more forward than the shoulders. This would be a place where you probably feel very weak. I know I do. So how does that translate into the pose itself? Well, let's go ahead and come down to all fours, table position. Now from table, Walk your knees back about six to eight inches behind your hips. I'm gonna have you keep the knees on the floor and I'm gonna show you something. You can do a little bit of it, but if you have any kind of shoulder injury or any um, discomfort, don't do this, just watch. We don't want much pressure or weight on the hands because we don't wanna hurt ourselves. But from here, you're gonna bend the arms and just lower the shoulders three inches or so towards the hands. And notice how you kind of get stuck, it's like, hmm, how do I get my tummy down to the floor? <laughs> How do I get there? Then press up. Doesn't feel so strong. Now this version, you're gonna have to use your core tummy muscles. So you draw the lower belly in, you shift your shoulders forward beyond the wrist, maybe over the fingertips. You might even find you've gotta walk your knees back a little bit farther so you don't feel stuck. Mm -hmm. All right. Belly drawing in, the mound and the index finger pressing down so those arms are really strong into all of that. Keep the strong arms, keep your tummy tone, and soften between the shoulder blades. Beautiful. 
Now from here, chest moves forward another little inch. And as you bend your arms from here, lower and hover a few inches above the floor. And notice my elbows and shoulders are in the same plane. My tummy is working, tricep, upper back. Press through the hands and come all the way up. So what you want to avoid is you want to avoid a position. I'm going to stay on my tummy because I don't want to hurt my shoulders. You want to avoid a position where the shoulders are low and the elbows are high. So go ahead and join me, everyone, down on your tummy. And we're gonna do it this way. Toes spread, with your toes spreading, draw the lower belly in, and lift the chest and head. So elbows and shoulders are at the same height. On the inhale, shrug the shoulders just a little to the ears to exaggerate length in your side bodies. Now draw the shoulder blades towards each other so that the head of the shoulders lift. Beautiful. And as you press down through the mound of your index finger, very gently, you're gonna leave your tummy on the floor, but lift your inner thighs slightly away from the ground. Your head just an extension of the spine. And then exhale, release. Press back into child's pose. Your hips come towards your heels. One breath. And then back into downward facing dog. Good. From downward dog, shift into plank, and we'll get ready for our chaturanga. So toes spreading, inner thighs lifted, lower belly toned, the arms really strong, and you soften just between the shoulder blades. You get those arms in socket from the get-go. It's a great tummy toner. Now shift your chest forward just an inch or so, so that the shoulders are more over fingers rather than wrists. Slowly bend the arms so that you come to the point where elbows and shoulders are at the same height. Tailbone scooping, tummy tone. Exhale, release. We'll sneak in a little cobra. Sweep the chest forward and up. Exhale, release to the belly. Now some styles will have you go right back into chaturanga or plank. So you can stay on your belly or I'll talk you into it. Toes spread. Shoulders and elbows at the same height. So this is super intense. Got to have your tummy strength and leg strength for this. As you draw your shoulder blades towards each other, head is an extension of the spine. You're looking an inch or two in front of you. Engage your leg muscles. So you hug your inner thighs towards each other. Draw the lower belly in and up. And you're going to imagine that you can breathe into the back of the waistline. And it's almost like you create balloons there to lift your tummy up off the floor. So as you root through the mound of the index finger, toes spreading, thighs squeezing, draw the belly in, and then on the inhale, lift the tummy up off the floor. Lift to plank and downward facing dog. And breathe, never compromising the integrity of the pose. And keep shoulders and elbows in alignment. A lot of times it's the placement of the hands relative to the shoulders. So that's it, pose of the week. How to do chaturanga safely for the shoulders. Now let me know your chaturanga. Do you like to lower your knees when you go into chaturanga? Do you like to keep your legs straight and lower down to your belly? Let me know, which is your favorite? <laughs> All right, thanks so much for stopping by and I'll catch you guys next week for pose of the week. Where should I feel it? <laughs> okay.